Hi everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're looking at a really interesting article on music therapy. Now, improvisational music therapy is when music is sung or played by a therapist, and that's thought to provide a context in which social interaction and communication is easier between the therapist and the child. Now, music therapy has a long history in the autism community, but there hasn't been a great deal of evidence behind it. Now, the study we've linked to this week, I think, provides the gold standard study in the area. The study recruited 364 children uh, with autism, and half of these children were randomised to receive uh, improvisational music therapy over a, a period of five months, and the other half were uh, randomised to receive just standard community therapy. Now the main finding was actually a null finding, so there was no difference between the groups. Uh, improvisational music therapy didn't provide any greater benefit above and beyond uh, standard communication, uh, community therapy. Now the takeaway point here is that Look, on the whole, mu improvisational music therapy doesn't appear to provide greater benefit than standard communication, uh, community therapy for children on the autism spectrum. However, that doesn't mean that on the individual level, music therapy might not be effective. And that really is up for those receiving the therapy to decide. 